Welcome to my tour bus. Step on. Okay. Yes. Everybody, this is my tour bus. This is where I live. This is my home. This is where I relax. This is where I wake up at. And this is my Red Bull that I'm sipping right now. The tour has been good so far. This is my first tour. My first like tour off of Funk Volume. This is an undercover prodigy funded tour. And yeah, this is all with my new label and pretty much a whole new crew, except um, my business partner, Jamie, and my merch guy, Derek Skateboard D, that's his name. And yeah, everything's been going good, man. It's been smooth. We're doing the United States tour right now. We're currently in Chicago. And yeah, after we finish the United States run, we're probably gonna take it overseas in the rapper's life. So, entertainment, let's see what we got. This is our television. We all chill here usually after the shows. We just tell jokes, clown and stuff. And we don't really watch TV too often, but there's been a couple nights where we have. This shit actually gives us problems. We've had to stop by Walmart a few times and switch the one of these devices out. And, because the sound doesn't work sometimes, but I think we figured it out now, I think it's all good. So, when, when we're not watching TV or watching movies, yeah, there is music playing usually. Um, Kevin Romar is the DJ. He usually just hooks his auxiliary cord in and he starts playing music. He just plays a lot of trap music. He plays a lot of trap music and EDM music. He also makes EDM music, so he's just bumping all types of shit all the time. And the homie Skateboard D, he's always um, playing music too, so it's just a lot of, a lot of trap music. <laughs> this is their choice though. They just played and we're just in here swagging out. So um yeah, I, I don't I don't usually I listen to music but I'm always when I play my music I'm just in my headphones. I just put my headphones in and I go to the back room back there or I just walk around the city by myself and just jam out to whatever I want to listen to. So um so we got some little drawer compartment areas right here um i don't really we don't really use all the drawers this is just the water water bottle drawer there's no water in there now but there's soda in there but it's usually just packed with a bunch of water also sometimes actually not not on this tour we haven't really used this but sometimes the um the promoter or somebody from the venue will come and fill it with ice and bring drinks or whatever we need and keep them cold but this tour we haven't really had that too much i don't think um up here are the paper plates. There's a bag of chips in here, Tylenol, <laughs> red cups. And, you know, this is the trash can. We just throw everything in there and it gets emptied out every day. We have trash bags here. Um, some more snacks. My snacks are all in the back. I, I keep my life in, this is, this is the, the front. This is the mainstream area, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm in the back, I'm underground back there, so they can't have access to my stuff. This is just the cleaning stuff, so we just, you know, whenever the bus gets a little messy, the floor gets messy, we clean it. Um, here's the refrigerator. Now, the refrigerator is very interesting. I love making, okay, this turkey bacon. I'm, I grew up, my mom always made me rice, like white rice and bacon and I, I, every morning I love white rice and bacon. So, I mean, I don't have like a rice cooker or a legit like oven to cook the bacon with, but I get this turkey bacon and I put it in the microwave. I put it on the paper plate. I put about five or six pieces on the paper plate, put it in the microwave for about five or six minutes. It's not quality at all. It ruins the bacon. It is, but it's, it's sometimes all I got to eat. I mean, like when I'm really, really, really hungry, in the early morning or middle of the night. Um, sometimes during the day when we pull up to a city, we'll make a run and, you know, we'll just store this with whatever food we get. But yeah, there's, all, none of this is mine. None of this is mine, only that turkey bacon. Do I have anything else in here? I have nothing else in here, but hmm, yeah. Oh yes, I do. These, I haven't eaten them yet, but these pizza rolls. I will eat these. I just bought these like three days ago. I'm very hyped to eat these. <laughs> when the time is right though. When the time is right, that's the key. And 
But we try to eat healthy though. I got my. <laughs> Hold on, let me explain. Let me explain who this guy is right here. Because <laughs> he does not like me eating any of that shit that I was just pointing at. Even though he has ate a few, a little bit of it himself. Yeah, he's the um, security and personal trainer and um, nutritionist. He makes sure I. I uh, stay healthy and all that. Yeah, this meal is, prep all the time. Yeah, meal prep. Yeah, so when, when we're at home, it's a lot easier because you know he brings the meals over. On tour, it's a little, it's it's harder, but yeah. So all that food is just backup plan. That's like, yo, if we're dying and we don't have nothing to eat, then we'll we'll eat that. But we usually try to go out to a place and just eat a real organic meal. Um, so yeah, I haven't eaten any of that today. So yeah, this is this is Drew trainer guy and let's see these M&Ms I don't know who they are whose they are but they get eaten like crazy this I feel like they've been here for like two weeks but we just it's weird we're just everybody just comes up and just grabs a handful of them randomly and we've all just been eating them and it seems like they never end it's always like a bunch of them left here's the bathroom um I don't give a fuck about how much this tour bus costs or what they say I am not I don't feel comfortable with tour bus water like I feel like it's like recycled pee water because I'm like where is this pee going where is all this going sometimes there's weird ass smells that come out of nowhere and like what the hell is that sometimes this shit smells like piss sometimes this shit smells like bleach sometimes this shit smells like flowers you just never know what you're gonna get one morning when you come you're like you know what I'm just not even touching this water I'm gonna just always get a hotel room every day um, I do piss very often though um, so this is where we piss at we do not take shits no shits at all if you take a shit I'll, yeah cuz there's no yeah cuz if you take a shit there's no water I mean there is a little water I might try to take one actually cuz I, I think about it they say no shits but there is a water flow hold on let me I'm not touching it with my hand there is a water flow that actually would be able to make the shit go down in the drain so it wouldn't actually get stuck to the side of the bowl so i might try that ew, 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 ew. okay forget that but yeah usually no shits we just piss when i got this bus i was like man i wanted a shower i was like i need a fucking shower on the bus usually these two areas are supposed to be combined together so when i got here i'm like what the fuck is this how the fuck am I supposed to shower in this shit with motherfuckers hanging right here? Like, everybody just lounging right here. How am I supposed to get in the fucking shower? Am I supposed to just walk out the fucking room naked and be like, okay, guys, and get out naked? Like, hey, like, what am I supposed to do? There's no bathroom. Like, I can't change. You literally got to get in this motherfucker, change in here, get naked, throw your... Like, it's just fucking weird, man. So I just say, fuck it. I've taken one shower in there, and I haven't taken a shower since that time on this whole fucking tour. Just kidding, no, I, I take showers every day, but not in here. This is like last resort, or if there's nobody on the bus at all, you know you can just sneak one in. But yeah, that's the fucking shower. I don't know who did this at all. I don't know, this was a bad idea. These are the bunk areas. We're not gonna look on anybody's bunk, but this is where everybody sleeps. Bunk, 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 bunk. And then same thing. So everybody sleeps here at night, whatever. And this is the temperature that controls the ventilation in here and all that stuff. Like you can make it hotter, colder. Here's the lighting. You can, yeah, you can light it up or whatever. Now, um, let's see, and this is my room. Now, uh, this fucking doorknob right here pisses me off. Like. I told myself, I, I keep saying I'm going to go to Walmart and fix this shit, or, but we keep getting lazy, keep oversleeping, we keep missing the Walmart stops, but, um, so, this is my room, but before we get into my room, look at this doorknob, I can't get out when I'm in, when I'm in here, I'm in there, it's like they have to lock me up, so literally, because if they don't close the door, the door is just going to keep swinging and hitting who's ever sleeping and it and it and it hurts them like if their leg or elbows hanging out so they have to literally lock me in and I can't get out so when I'm in here at night I'm in there and I can't get out and when the bus is going everybody to sleep I'm fucked so what does that mean if I have to use the bathroom I'm fucked I can't get out so I usually have to so this is what usually happens this is my room back here 
I'm like, damn, I gotta bring bottles of water to piss in because the door won't open. And sometimes I wake up at four or five in the morning. So I'm like, damn it. I'm gonna have to text somebody and they're probably not gonna hear this shit. So what I usually end up doing, I'm like, I gotta pee so bad. I have to drink a whole bottle of water just to make it empty so I can pee in it and then go back to sleep comfortably. This shit fucking kills me. It's like torture back here. Feels like a goddamn Hitler chamber or some shit from, from the Holocaust or some shit. I'm like, goddamn, like, do you know what it's like having to pee really bad and having to drink a whole bottle of water just to empty it out so you can fucking piss in it? It's fucking crazy. But aside from that, this is where I sleep at. I have my, um, this is my blanket right here. This is my pillow. And I just lay right here. I charge my phone over there and I just sleep. Or I lay down and I'm just on my phone all night till I fall asleep. Um, here's my meal. I went to Noodles and Company. I don't know if this is too healthy, but I love Noodles and Company. They don't have this in California. This shit right here is delicious. So delicious, I'm gonna have to take a quick second to take a bite out of this. Um, like I've been, I've been eating so much Noodles and Company on this tour, so much. I'm gonna be so mad when it goes away. I get the butter noodles and Parmesan chicken and mmm, god damn. I would, I would skip a show for this shit, man. This shit is just so good. I got these cookies that my homegirl made for me in Salt Lake City. I eat these a lot. I just, but, but I don't really like the chocolate too much. They're like pumpkin, pumpkin cinnamons. I don't know what type of cookies they are, but they're really good. Um, but I pick out all the, the chocolate parts because it's hard. I don't know. I'm just not a big chocolate fan like that. So, oh yeah. Here's my little personal hygiene box slash bullshit. Got some jalapeno kettle corn, kettle cooked Cheetos, which are nasty as fuck. Got my blow pops, no homo. I got hot tamales. I try not to eat too much candy, but when I'm starving, I eat the candy. Got my cologne. Before I go do meet and greets, I spray this shit so I leave a good smelling impression on everybody. Got my lotion, and no, it's not for jacking off. I actually do it dry handed. A lot of people go, what, you jack off dry handed? I didn't know jacking off with lotion was like a common thing that people do because it's just too much, like just, just raw handed. Back here, I have jacked off a few times. I try not to because it's scary let me tell you one scary fucking story this just happened four days ago it's a masturbation story okay this is what happened this fucked up door oh god it was embarrassing i was laying here i was like okay you know i got my phone i'm watching porn and then the fucking door i thought it was closed it was late night I thought it was closed. It, it was closed to me. I even checked on it. I'm like, okay, let me make sure this shit's closed. I checked like five times. I'm pushing it. I'm like, this shit's locked. And I can't, you know, it doesn't have a hand, a real hand on it, so I can never fully check. So I'm like, okay, laying back here. And, you know, I'm like, even and I'm and I'm I'm slowly doing it with the cover over me. I'm like, okay, I feel kind of nervous right now. There's people on the bus and everything. This is not comfortable. And then I check again. I'm like, okay, the door's locked. I'm like, fuck it, we're just going in. We're going in. I go full throttle, boom, 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 full force. I'm watching, I'm trying to, and then, um, and then when you, like the lights are out of here, so then my peripheral, everything just goes away. So then I'm going, I just look, and the door is open, and I'm like, <gasps> and I don't know who saw, I don't know if someone saw, I'm like, no, 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 what if someone saw and they pretended they didn't see, and there's, and it's just, I, I don't know what the fuck happened. I close the door again, make sure it's locked. I got my nut and went to fuck to sleep and fuck it. I was doing it, who cares? Anyways, yep, yeah, that's the masturbation stories. These are my boxers and just bullshit. Cotton swabs, um, lotion, deodorant, soap. Um, I change boxers, like I, I buy a lot of boxers from Walmart and I just wear them and throw them away. I don't keep the same boxers. Cause I don't, I don't really wash clothes on tour. I just 
throw a lot of clothes away, like a lot. I know it's bad, but yeah. Um, I buy boxers, just a bunch of them, wear them after the show, throw them away, take a shower, put a new pair on. That's how I do it. These are just clothes that I wear. Just, just clothes for the show that I have set up. Um, these are my hats in here. <coughs> Got my shoes and stuff. And what else? My skateboard. A fan gave me this dope ass fucking board. This shit is sick. It's like, I mean, it's, it's like a cruiser board. But it's still dope, man. Look at this gold. Look at the, look at that, man. So sick. It has a bottle opener on that. I've never, I've never seen that before. Um, I want to ride it, but I don't want to like scratch it. But it's really, really, really dope, though. Um, this? Um, I think uh, someone gave me this board. I forget where it was at. Skateboard junkie stamp of approval. Yeah, someone someone gave me this board. I got my own Hobson skateboards, and uh, I don't know where they are right now. Appreciate you guys checking out my tour bus and taking this little tour with me. Um, make sure you guys go to my website, undercoverprodigy.com, get yourself some nice merch. And yeah, I'm working on a new album. I don't know when it'll be out, but I will update you guys with that. And yeah, appreciate the love and support, man. Undercover prodigy all day. Thank you guys. I'm out.